my dad just took me to Lisa's house and I will have to say it was hard being there without her there but I was grateful to go in one last time maybe more but it was definitely hard being there without her there Okay, I am home and mom had put together a family dinner um, with all the family that's in town and um, so that's great to just right off the bat see a lot of a lot of family and I'm getting more and more tired oh my goodness as the day rolls on but um, uh, we're gonna eat dinner and then we're also gonna have like a, a choir rehearsal for um, we're gonna sing um, the family is gonna sing uh, in several different numbers my sister requested a lot of music for her funeral so because she knew this day was coming she was very specific on what she wanted and so they tried to do as much as possible for her um, so anyway it's good to be here and I'm excited to eat and then sleep. It's nine o'clock at night. We finished rehearsing. Uh, if we weren't rehearsing, I would have been in bed an hour ago. <laughs> but I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to do that. Um, and it's a little bit hard at times to sing. I definitely cried many times. Uh, I was like, well, maybe if I can get it out now that maybe I won't cry on the day of. But I don't know. When I see other people cry, it just kind of gets my crier going, you know? I don't know if you're the same way, but... Anyway, I am extremely exhausted, so I'm excited. I'm hoping I can get like close to 12 hours of sleep. That'll be amazing. We gotta leave here by nine to go to the mortuary um, to dress and beautify my sister um, for her viewing uh, tomorrow night, so. This morning, we're at a mortuary. Um, we just came, look how much it snowed already. Oh my goodness, a cold. Um, I'm not gonna video any of this. This is a sacred experience, but um, I just wanted to let you know that we're, we're here. We're gonna dress her and put makeup on her and prepare her for the viewing tonight. Um, so it'll be a special experience. Her daughter is here and my um, her closest sister and I, and then my parents are here. So um, I'll let you know how it goes. Oh, wow. Today was such a special experience. Um, you know, I was, I was really actually kind of nervous going into the dressing. Um, I just, I didn't know how I'd feel. I didn't know what I'd think. I didn't know if I'd burst into tears, if I'd be freaked out. Like I just, I didn't know. And, and I was, I was a little worried, but the minute I got in there and started brushing her hair, curling her hair, doing her makeup, I just, I just felt, wow, what an honor it is to do this for her. And, and it, it was so beautiful because as we curled her hair and held her hand, we spoke of her life and just shared memories and shared testimony of life after death. And, and what was so interesting is as I turned that corner and I saw her for the first time, I, I was like, oh my goodness, that's not her. And it hit me with the realization that her body is only a vessel for her spirit and that her spirit lives on. It reminded me of Mary preparing Christ's body and what a what an honor that is that I got to be part of this beautiful this beautiful experience and it really it's what gave me closure. It was just such a beautiful experience. After going to the mortuary, oh gosh, we came um, here to see if I can find me a long skirt because I didn't bring any skirt uh, because I didn't want to wear my short skirt in a freezing cold <laughs> winter wonderland and I can't find one but look how beautiful it is it's beautiful and freezing and crazy for April the day of the funeral was beautiful 
there was an evening viewing for the public and then we gathered the morning of the funeral and did a family viewing, did a family prayer. The hardest part for me was the closing of the casket. It just felt so final. And in that moment, I just lost it and I had to leave the room. I just didn't want to say goodbye yet. And it was hard, but I, I was able to mourn and I was able to really release those grieving emotions to then be able to come back in and be united with family and feel at peace. And then we all walked into the chapel where we had such a beautiful funeral service. It was exactly everything that she would have wanted. She wanted her funeral service to be very focused on Christ and not herself. And our family did such a good job with that. It was very honoring of her and who she is and everything that mattered to her. It just, it was beautiful. Once the funeral service was over, then everyone went to the graveside and had a beautiful graveside service. The snow was beautiful. It was such a big snowstorm that day and the snow was so deep, but it was so beautiful. The, the beautiful red roses against that snow was just, it was stunning. It was so beautiful. Sisters are putting uh, flowers on there for Deanne's wish to Lisa. My sister Deanne is buried in the same cemetery just down from Lisa's so they are going <laughs> walking in deep snow to go put some of the Lisa's flowers on Deanne's grave. And after that we all came back to the chapel had a wonderful lunch as a family and then that was the end of our funeral service. It was such a beautiful day. Here's my home.